Hi, it's uh, Dave from Sailing Cavu. We have another boat project today. We're going to install this uh, I 70S in our center pedestal. And we're going to have to cut a hole in the brand new boat. All right, so this is what came in the box. Uh, got the Raymarine multifunction display. We got the the bezel cover, um, the template that shows the hole that we are going to have to cut in our brand new boat. This cable came with the uh, product, but uh, it's really too short for our needs. So what I did was I went out and got a three meter cable and uh, I had this little backbone cable and I bought the uh, T. So I'll be adding this to uh, my Talk system. I found a bus that I could access fairly easy and uh, allows to get up to the uh, um, pedestal. The first step was to find a SeaTalk bus that we could tap into. Under my life raft locker, there was a hatch. Under the hatch, I found this bus. However, it was full. So I added an extra backbone to it and the T that I had bought, and we were able to uh, snake the wire down to there. All we had to left to do was just secure it to the bulkhead and clean things up just a little bit. The next thing is the installation. We start with putting a template on. I've got help here from my friend Doug. We made sure everything was square and evenly spaced, taped everything in place. Then we added some more tape just to make sure that we were protecting everything on the boat in case we had a little bit of a slip. Drilling a pilot hole to get the hole saw started. Of course, uh, we we're also using a shop vac clean things up as we go along so we don't have a lot of fiberglass dust floating around. And then the next thing you know, there's a hole in the brand new boat. Next we put the gasket on the back of the Raymarine I-70S. Peeling off the protective cover, it's sticky on one side. You want to make sure the sticky side goes on the instrument so it's not sticky on the boat. And in case you have to pull it out, it's going to be an easy removal if you need to take it out for uh, servicing or repair. Next, we drilled all the mounting holes. So we would locate the hole, drill it, make sure we countersunk it so that the screw holds in the fiberglass and not in the gel coat, which is brittle and could break. Each time we put the instrument back in, mark the next hole, drilled it, countersunk it, and repeated that until we had all four holes drilled. You never want to drill all four holes at one time because the instrument will not fit properly and the screws will not align. So here's the finished product. Very happy with the way it turned out. The hardest part is the mounting of the instrument, but if you take your time, I think anyone can do this. The electronics are all plug and play, very straightforward. And this is really going to enhance your situational awareness on the boat. 